from Denver 7, this is 7 News. And later today, we are learning about Emulin. It's a new discovery that you can add to your food that some believe will have an amazing impact on obese people and possibly those suffering from diabetes. Welcome back, everyone. This morning, we are talking about a new discovery, which some say will make certain foods safer for diabetics. And joining us this morning to talk more about it is Dr. Joe Ahrens. He is from ATM Metabolic, and he can tell us more about uh, this discovery called Emulin. But Emulin. first off, you have all kinds of great stuff in front of you on a Sunday morning. It looks like we're getting ready for a, a pretty hefty brunch, doctor. Well, this looks pretty good. I really enjoy these. I'm going to chocolate in there. And you have pineapple yes. and bread. And bread, good things, too, and fruits and vegetables. Uh, well, what happened here is we re recognized that when people ate things even that had high sugar in them, they did not develop diabetes. So there must be something like in an orange that is preventing you getting diabetes along with the sugar. If you take the sugar and you put it in your body, your blood sugar levels spike up and down, up and down, up and down. That ruins your liver, your metabolism. You can end up getting type 2 diabetes. We were fortunate to be able to discover it. It took about seven years. This is the compound right here. Extract it out of tropical fruits and vegetables. And what we would like to do is to put it in these types of foods so they're not as dangerous for you. Go ahead and hold that up again so we can kind of get a look at it. It, it, it looks kind of some very similar to flour. Yes, has a consistency of flour, real powdery. And that's what we're calling emulin. Yes. And how does it work? Well, this is all a lot like a buffer this is in the fruits and vegetables which they have developed naturally in order for us as animals to eat them and not be dangerous so it buffers there are a lot of little gates and doorways in your body that shut shunt the glucose the blood the blood sugar in and out of your blood into your liver into your fat cells and this product controls that process naturally we have a lot of sugar in these types of products, so we should take this and put it in those products along with the sugar. So if you put it in, the idea, if you put the emulin inside those products, the sugar or the artificial sweetener won't affect you in a negative way? That's right. Uh, people that have type 2 diabetes might wake up in the morning with their blood sugar level 300. Uh, people that are uh, diabetic know what those numbers mean, 300. We gave, uh, uh, we started out by giving a relative of ours this, uh, a very little bit. I'm talking about an eighth of a teaspoon three times a day, and uh, her blood sugar dropped by a third. So then we went into official clinical human trials and other animal studies, and we got the same results. Blood sugar levels dropping a third without any insulin. Has all of this been approved by the FDA at this point in time, and are there any known side effects to emulin? Well, uh, it is in the process of approval. It will take about another year. And uh, the side effects are that we are not wanting people to take this, put it into this type of food, and just eat more of it. That's really the side effect. I don't want to give that uh, idea to people. Eat good. Eat your fruits and vegetables. But if you are a diabetic, for instance, this is poison to you. You cannot eat this you could if you added this amulet you know a guy like me I love carbohydrates and I love sugar sweet things like that I could eat all of that right now but of course the the degree of uh, obesity the degree of diabetes that we have around the country right, right now is startling and very dangerous. Dr. Joseph Aarons, thank you very much. You're going to come back a little bit later on. We'll talk some more about emulin yes. and, diabetes and diabetes and obesity as well. Thank you. Thank you so much sir. Thanks for joining us. All right, if you would like additional information, just go to our website, thedenverchannel.com. Click on that big red TV button. We'll have additional information for you there later today.